Hi Rian, we're here and you've just given away a, a wonderful prize. You're representing the FIA. Tell us a bit about your involvement at the Risky Sandgate. Well, first of all, it's a huge privilege for the FIA for the Financial Intermediate Association to be associated with such a great event. And from our side, we want to congratulate Andy and the rest of the Risk SA team for putting together such a great event. And uh, um, yes, it's an honor for us to be here and uh, to be part of, of such a great thing. And it was uh, excellent. Uh, we had a dead spot out there today, but uh, um, the sailing was, was great and a uh, very nice weekend. Together. And what did you just give away? Well, the prize for, uh, unfortunately, um, the team that I was involved in didn't win today. <laughs> but uh, um, Kamak got the, the prize, uh, second year running. And uh, um, so, yeah, they were the great winners on the day. And congr congratulations to them once again for um, being there and uh, winning it for a second time running. So the challenge is up now for the rest of the guys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Rihanna, are you a sailor? No, I'm not a sailor. Did you learn uh, anything on the water today? Yes, for sure I did. I've got a skipper's license for, for speed boating and those kind of things. Okay. Yeah, but this was a total different exercise altogether and uh, I must say I love it. It's, it's not quite as fast paced as the, as the speed boats. No, definitely not. Specifically uh, due to that dead spot I referred to. Yeah. At one stage, a bit, uh, our boat was standing dead still. At zero so what do you do when you're standing dead still? Just chat to everyone, get to know them a little bit better? Yes, and praying for the wind to come up because you see the, the boat behind you coming up fast and you quickly want to get out of their way. Absolutely. And, uh, uh, but yes, no, it's uh, um, just hope for the wind to come up again. Cool. Thank you so much for joining us here today. It's a pleasure.